I want to show you one of my favorite vegetables. It's called, actually by a few names, broccoli rob, rapini. It's uh, uh, one of the bitter greens. It's a baby broccoli. And there's some Asian broccoli that's similar, but it's not quite the same. But anyway, what I've done is I have washed, cleaned, and steamed the rapini until it's really tender. Not crisp tender, I mean really tender. And then I like to cut it before I steam it because it's just easier and faster in pieces. And you use it all. You use the entire stalk, the leaf, everything into sort of one inch kind of pieces. So that is washed, cleaned, and steamed. Now, what I've also done in advance, because this does go rather quick, is I have sliced very thin some garlic. And what I'm going to do is put some extra virgin olive oil in the pan, put the garlic in, put a little, just an itsy bitsy touch of crushed red pepper, just a tiny bit. It's not enough to make your head sweat, but just a little bit of heat. And then in goes the broccoli raw, but it has to go really quick because heat of the pan, garlic will burn if you don't keep an eye on it. So it's just faster to have it. So have it already done. So anyway, there is the, see how hot that is? There is the garlic, whoops, in the pan. Now, the pinch of crushed red pepper. And before that gets burning, in goes the broccoli rob. That is a very hot pan. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. It's sort of like an Italian stir fry, but oh, this is such a great vegetable. It's absolutely wonderful. Okay, then after that's warmed up, I am a little bit of salt and a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Then, it's up to you, just before I serve it, I do like to serve a squeeze of fresh lemon over it, but not too soon because the lemon will make this turn. This pan is drying out a little bit, so I'm gonna dress it with a little bit more olive oil. And then, we'll stir it up. And oh, if you could smell this, oh, we need smell o vision. The garlic and the rapini, oh my god, it's just heaven. And there you have it. The um, Greeks, Lebanese, Mediterranean countries do something similar with dandelion greens. I'll teach that soon, too. Dandelion greens, you steam them, same principle, only you stir in the same idea, the garlic, extra virgin olive oil, a little salt and pepper, but they also get a little bit of toasted pine nuts and then lemon just before you serve them. The dandelion greens are wonderful. Slightly different flavor than the rapini or broccoli rob, but nevertheless still in the bitter green family. So how does that work? doesn't look like much, but you have to try this to believe it, which I think, we're, whoops, we're going to do. I am a colored green lover, too, and mustard green and turnip greens. Mm. Woo! Hot. Ah. Mmm. Excellent. Wow. Yeah, these are good. But, like I say, the secret to these is make sure you cook them enough. I don't really like these crisp tender. They need to be cooked. So anyway, I'll put these on a plate, and then we'll show you what they look like. I really hope you try these. If you've never seen it, and you do like the bitter green family, these, there's so many vitamins and minerals in this stuff, you wouldn't believe. So... It's something that you really want to include in your diet.
All right, so Broccoli Rob, Rapini, whatever you want to call this stuff, I'll tell you, it's just really good. If you've never had it, you really should try it. And it is excellent room temperature. And of course, from my Italian heritage, we're going to drizzle this with a little bit of really good extra virgin olive oil. I just love this stuff. And I could squeeze that with a little bit of lemon, but not necessary. It's just tasty the way it is, so I think I should give it a try, don't you think? We'll just taste a little bit. Mmm. -hmm. Wow. Garlic, a little bit bitter. Not the garlic, but the but the rapini. And oh my god. Mm. That is really good stuff. So thanks for joining me at my kitchen. And do put this on your list of just try once. Classic Italian. Okay, hope to see you again on the next episode.